This is a lot harder than I thought. Hello, thank you for clicking in. I, I wanted to share some insight into my university experience. So I have a lot of my friends and friends of friends asking me about my experience in London. So I just kind of wanted to go over that with everyone today. I'm 26 right now. I went to school in London College of Fashion um, at University of Arts London. It is a fine arts um, and design school. I also attended the Year of Foundation, which is something that's not mandatory, but I th did that right after high school. I applied for a foundation course. It's a one-year course, and from there you can kind of segue, and it helps you get into other colleges easier. So that was kind of my route. From high school, I did a foundation course at Camberwell College of Arts, and then I did three more years at London College of Fashion. Um, I graduated in 2015, so that's around five years ago. It's pretty crazy. Um, I would say my advice and kind of my overall experience at in London and in school was very, very positive educational-wise. Um, but as we know, when you go off to college, that's not all your life is. Your life is not just in the school. It's also in the dorms and with your flatmates. It's what do I do with my free time? It's what do I do with peer pressure? And all these different things. So I, I do kind of want to give my insight and I think that um, if I were to do it again, I think I would have done like a gap year where, where a lot of my friends in Europe and UK have the opportunity and Australia and New Zealand I know. It's just not very common in North America and I, I just think it's just a different mentality here. Um, I do wish I took a year off because I think it really would have helped me understand that um, you know, and gain some experience. Maybe I could work, maybe I could travel, um, and just to have that pressure off from high school because high school was really tough. I moved in my senior year to a school in China, an international school, American International School of Guangzhou. I made so many great friends there and I had a lot of cool experiences, good and bad, um, but they're really fun to reflect on. So I did take a lot of the knowledge and learning experience from it, but I do wish I took a year off. And the reason is being, um, I think jumping in from high school and having so much, you know, have so much anxiety, um, you know, you don't fully know exactly what it is you want to do. Some people do, I didn't. Um, so going to art school was a very open kind of pathway so the pathway that I went to was a foundation course you can kind of do anything you want I had my eye kind of set on doing photography after the first year so I would say there was a lot of pressure for me to go out a lot a lot um, especially my first year and I really really enjoyed my first year um, the whole freshman 15 is totally true gained like 15 20 pounds and it kind of just stuck to be honest until the second year of university so like two years after um it's a lot of fun a lot of partying uh, a lot of like meeting people from different colleges um you get to kind of network with different people i definitely think for a social aspect going abroad really gets you out of your element because you don't know anybody in your surroundings so i do feel like you get this element of you know you can be who you want to be no one's gonna judge you no one's gonna be like Oh, like, you know, talking behind your back. No one, no one even knows you and no one will probably remember you either. So I think that's definitely my favorite part in the first couple of years. School-wise, I did feel like um, London College of Fashion is very much, you have a lot of free time. So my course wasn't, wasn't in the way that you could choose like, oh, I want to choose like English. I want to choose like a psych class. I want to choose a recreational class. It wasn't really like that. It was very much almost similar to a high school um, where it's very, very much a group. So we had 60 people in our group and um, the, you know, all three years of my bachelor's degree, these would be the people that I spend the most time with. So you really do build a bond. A lot of my classmates, they came from all over the world, very international group. Um, we had classmates from Russia, from Korea, from China, from UK, from Canada, not many. I think it was just me. Yeah, I think it was just me from the US. So it was really cool to meet everyone and kind of see their journey. We had um, some adult, more you know, mature students that were in their late 20s, 30s. And then we had, you know, fresh kind of graduates um, from high school, maybe a year or two younger than me at the time. I think the class structure, if I had a choice of kind of what I wanted to focus on, it would have been good. 
but with the course at UAL, it, it is very much like this is kind of the curriculum. Um, this is what we go through. You don't really have a choice in a sense. I hear that it's very similar to a master's course for a lot of people. So the bachelor's program at London College of Fashion is very similar to a master's program where you have a lot of free time. So if you do thrive with a lot of your own um, free time and you do thrive and you are very self, um, you're very independent, you're very self-motivated, I would say this is a great program for you. For others who are coming out, out of high school and um, or foundation and like need a lot of structure, I did find that that was really difficult for me. I sometimes would not have class for like I would have class like once or twice a week and it'd be a couple hours of a lecture. So I would have essentially the whole week free. What I did was I worked with a lot of model agencies and I kind of networked a lot within my course and outside of my course with um, agencies. I had friends that were working for magazines so it was kind of a good way for me to practice and kind of get into doing photography. Um, in the level where you're, you're working in the industry. So, um, but I did collaborate with Ella China. So that was really cool and we were able to create a lot of great pieces online for their digital content. Um, so it just really depends on how you take the program. Mm, there's not like one way to do it. So I would say depends depends on what you want and what you think works well with you. Um, and honestly, I don't think you need a degree to practice photography. Um, I do think it gives you a lot of credibility and confidence and the network. So I made the best decision for myself and I think that um, it worked out to the most part. Um, I've been back in Vancouver now for a couple of years and this is kind of where I was um, born and where I was raised and I think partly why I came back as well and didn't want to continue like applying for a visa there or working there and kind of just staying was the fact that I really did miss my family, I miss my friends, I miss the food here and it's just in general I you know was abroad for like five years essentially um, and that's a long time to be away from family and everything like that. Bear in mind that you know you're gonna have a lot of alone time, and if you're someone that didn't re doesn't really handle that very well, to make sure you find a support group. I found it was really helpful to join a lot of different groups, um, and just to make sure that you are continuing on um, and making friends and always staying active and exercising, joining clubs, gyms. I, I joined the surf club, the yoga club. Um, I think I also joined a roller derby club, so a lot of different things I tried. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I did that. You get to meet different groups of people that you oftentimes wouldn't meet. So I really hope this camera is still recording because I have been talking for a while.